Welcome back. Quick news video uh, to, to catch you guys all up on what's happened today uh, when it comes to the waiver wire. So, Yonis Johansson, goaltender, picked back up by the Colorado Avalanche, reclaimed from the Arizona Coyotes as he continues to, to bounce around. Um, and so, in all likelihood, Colorado's going to send him down. They do not have to put him back on waivers because their claim was the only one put in. So, yeah, uh, there you go. The entire league gets first crack at it. The Stanley Cup champions get the last claim. So for him to get to Colorado it means nobody else put in a claim for him. And hopefully that's the end of him uh, bouncing around the league. I always feel bad for these players because I always envision them like, you know, trying to set up roots and get into some kind of a rhythm. And then they're on waivers and they're off to another organization again. So we'll see if that's the end of that for Johansson this year, right? Uh, on Calgary's side, Malosh has cleared. So he's still a member of the Flames organization. He's likely headed down to the Wranglers. Although I would think he would be an early pickup as well in the event of an injury on the blue line, and they've waived Pospisil as well. So the Calgary Flames getting their roster in order. Uh, Pospisil, I don't think, gets picked up. I don't think any of these guys get picked up, including Harrington from San Jose. Now that I've watched Stranger Things, I'm going to apologize straight up if I call him Steve, because Harrington to me, and that's what Steve goes by a lot in the show. Now you've got Mike Harrington with San Jose. So, uh, yeah, uh, Harrington's been waived by San Jose. Now they had just signed him from his tryout, so this means he may very well be going to the Barracuda, uh, or maybe they're just waving him so they have that, that roster flexibility. Like I said, it's not just to send guys to the minors, it's to have that flexibility to make those roster shifts from day to day and, and accrue yourself some cap space. Uh, Tampa Bay, no surprise, they've waived Labrie. Labrie was signed for salary cap reasons, 35-year-old forward. I don't see him getting picked up either. So yeah, Tampa Bay doing their gymnastics to stay under the cap. And Labrie was was part of that, and now he goes down to the minors. But he's earning himself some good money this year. And so, yeah, there you go. Uh, as I said, very quick video, just catching you guys up on the waiver wire news from the rest of the day. And we've got six games tonight, so good long review coming up for you guys tonight. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.